This is a question that's not on your examination. It's about a 23-year-old male patient who has groin pain associated with sport activity. He has decreased interrotation of the hip, positive impingement test. His radiographs reveal no crossover sign, and they ask about the likely findings on the MRI. This is a classic history for hip impingement disease. Since the patient doesn't have acetabular deformity, we would most likely think that this patient will have femoral deformity, uh, creating this hip impingement clinical scenario. So abnormal alpha angle and a chondrolabral tear are the most likely associated findings. Again, this is a classic presentation of hip impingement in an active young male with restricted internal rotation groin pain, and, and on MR, we would see a head neck offset deformity as measured by the alpha angle, and very commonly, an associated chondral labral dissociation. So this is a classic picture of hip impingement and commonly associated with labral tear. So we'll now review the topic of labral tear. So labral tear most commonly is associated with structural hip disease as represented by acetabular dysplasia or femoral acetabular impingement. It can also be associated with previous trauma. The most common location for a labral tear is along the anterior superior acetabular rim. Again, in terms of the etiology, you have to be thinking about femoral acetabular impingement and hip dysplasia as the etiology also occasionally associated with previous trauma, and more contemporary thought that capsular laxity also puts the hip at risk for acetabular labral tear. <clears throat> previous trauma can be associated with a labral tear. This is a less common etiology, and as we previously stated, more commonly associated with structural hip disease, and again, importantly, the anterior superior labrum is most commonly involved as shown on this MR on your right uh, panel with detachment of the acetabular labrum. The labrum is a horseshoe-shaped structure. It's in continuity with the transverse acetabular ligament. Vascularity arises from the adjacent hip capsule and synovium. In terms of presentations, these patients tend to present with groin pain and associated mechanical hip pain and snapping. Provocative tests, you should be aware of, that it can elicit discomfort from both anterior and posterior labral tears. In terms of radiographic examination, we basically want to rule out other pathologies about the hip. Well, again, we want to be thinking about structural hip disease of femoral acetabular impingement, hip dysplasia, secondary osteoarthritis of the hip. Acetabular cysts can also be indic indicative of degenerative processes within the joint. MR arthrogram is really the gold standard in terms of definitive diagnosis and is very sensitive to detect acetabular labral tears up to 92% of 92% uh, sensitivity for this diagnosis. In terms of treatment, again, non-operative treatment uh, upon initial presentation is very appropriate for these patients. That can, could include rest or activity modification physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, occasional steroid injection, especially for the patient that is getting uh, older in the uh, late 30s, 40s, and above. In terms of treatment for labral tears, uh, historically, arthroscopic labral debridement was the most common treatment. Over time, this has become less common, uh, but today we certainly uh, uh, use arthroscopic labral debridement, especially in the setting of a labral detachment where the labral tissue is not adequately healthy for repair. So in that setting, we would consider arthroscopic labral debridement. More commonly, we have a labral detachment and labral tissue that is healthy enough for repair. And in that scenario, we prefer arthroscopic labral repair. Uh, several recent studies have shown that when possible, la labral repair is preferred to labral resection. So again, if the labral tissue is adequately healthy, we uh, prefer labral repair. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.